I don't think it's too bold of a claim to say that few innovations in boating have affected boaters' lives more than the introduction of the lithium battery, something I never thought I would spring for, and now I can't imagine living without it. Now, there's three traits of a lithium battery that immediately became useful in my life, and we're gonna break that down one by one. I'm joined today by Kevin Bennett from Lithium Pros, who has been at the forefront of all this technology and developing this stuff as the market evolves. Kevin, let's first address the weight on the batteries. That's mm -hmm. the most obvious thing. Why does my 12-volt lithium battery weigh as much as an old cell phone? Well, <laughs> it, it is pretty amazing. I mean, you've got three times the energy density in lithium ion, and you can use more of that energy in it. So your net battery weight ends up being about one-fourth, sometimes as little as one-fifth of the lead-acid batteries it's replacing. Yeah, now for me on a skiff, I mean, that's something that's very weight sensitive, and that makes a huge difference. A lightweight battery like that is gonna really be a lot simpler to work with. Okay, second, let's talk about the useful life of the battery throughout the charge cycle. These batteries don't basically die on you halfway through. Why is that the case? Well, the, the discharge curve of lithium ion batteries is very flat as opposed to a more of a linear slope with a lead acid battery. By the time you get to 50% state of charge with a lead acid battery, you're pretty well done. Lithium ion, you can safely go down to 20% state of charge. The computers inside the battery will let you go actually all the way down to 100% state of, of discharge. At full yeah. output. Yeah. Okay, third, let's talk about the useful life of the battery in general. These batteries are built to last for 10 years, or mine says 5,000 charge cycles, which is about 10 years. How is that the case? Yeah, it's, lithium ion is, is the ultimate deep cycle battery. So yeah, it's, as far as charge cycles, I mean, you're not going to wear the battery out in the boat. The 10 years is easy, easy for the battery to, to deliver. Now, right off the bat, I think about mitigating the cost of the battery. They are more expensive than an AGM or lead acid, but over the course of its life, it ends up actually being less expensive in the long run and a lot more reliable and easier to use. Now, Lithium Pros has recently introduced their N-Series, which is an absolute game changer. Why don't we talk a little bit about that, but why don't we move back to the MFD screen and you show me a little bit more about what the N-System's all about. Great. Okay, Kevin, we're talking about the N-Series batteries, which are new, and that's a NEMA-capable battery that's gonna send data to an MFD. Why don't you explain? Sure, what we've done is we've embedded our BM21 uh, comprehensive battery monitor inside all of the N-Series batteries. What that allows us to do is right here on it, here we have a Ray Marine unit, but this works on any of the NMEA 2000 MFDs. We're gonna select uh, the dashboard, and you'll notice we have the port side and, and starboard side batteries, but we also have state of charge for our third, our trolling battery. Right here it has 100% state of charge. That's coming through the network. So we can get any type of information here. We, we can put, um, we can change this and say, hey, I, I would rather have, uh, on battery three, I would rather have the battery voltage. Now we have battery voltage there. All of the information from the battery is coming over the network. Voltage, time remaining, the amp hours or, or amperage coming and going in the battery, the temperature of the battery, as well as the state of charge. It's so all reported. Time remaining, while I'm using the trolling motor, I can watch how much time I've got left in the battery. Exactly. Given what I'm doing right now, how much more time have I got? Sure. That's actionable information. Now, is this a, an internal component on the battery or is it external? I mean, how does this all work on the actual battery itself? Can we take a look at the battery? Of course, let's take a look at it. Okay, Kevin, right off the bat, I see one lonely little battery there in a space that's meant to be occupied by a lot more hardware. What are we looking at? You're looking at a single 36 volt lithium ion, lithium pros battery made for trolling motors. Uh, yeah, you're right, it does take up a lot less space. That's the beauty of lithium ion. Uh, you're also looking at a battery that has the NMEA 2000 cable connection. It has the display on it. And of course, as we cycle through the display, you can see that we have uh, several different pieces of information available. Okay, so the same stuff that's available on the MFD you can read through here. Tell me, what does this battery weigh and what would it be equivalent to in lead acid batteries? Yeah, this battery weighs 40 pounds. Uh, this would be equivalent to three Group 31 AGM batteries, which is a, you know, about 230 pounds worth of batteries. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Well, this is gonna make a big splash in the industry. There's no doubt about it. And, if you haven't looked at a lithium battery, you definitely need to take a look at this product and you will not be disappointed with the results that you get from it and the longevity. Kevin, I thank you so much for showing us the battery today. Great, thank you.